Dave Gardy here on the floor of CSUN 2016, and I'm pleased to have here in the booth Deputy Secretary Chris Liu from the Department of Labor. Great to have you here, Chris. Dave, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. It's super. You get a great speech last night. Can you give us a perspective of, of why does the Labor Department care about accessibility, and what does it have to do with employment? Well, Dave, let me take a broader look at this. We often talk about the Department of Labor being the Department of Opportunity, and our mission is to help create broader economic opportunity for all Americans. In the 21st century, the United States is in a competition, and we only win that competition against other countries if we field a full team. Right now, we're not fielding a full team. There's far too many people left on the sidelines, and a large percentage of those people are people with disabilities. And so that's one of the reasons why we focus on ensuring that they have the opportunities uh, that they deserve. And one of the ways to do that is through technology. What's the Labor Department doing to advance accessible workplace technology? Well, we're doing a lot. Uh, we have a series of programs that provide technical assistance to employers to talk to them about uh, not only the importance of hiring people with disabilities, we talk to them about uh, accommodation uh, needs, we talk to them about the technology that's available to them. Um, and so part of this is sharing best practices, part of them is helping them understand that, you know, this is not as hard uh, as you think it might be in terms of uh, recruiting and hiring people with disabilities. You talked about it last night, what's Talent, talent Works and, and why, is, why was it developed by the Labor Department? Talent Works is based on a very simple principle that if you want to hire and recruit people with, people with disabilities, if you want to create a diverse workplace, we need to understand that the way that we hire people now is generally online. And far too many applications, far too many assessment tools, uh, far too many uh, ways that we recruit people online are inaccessible to people with disabilities. So part of this is to provide best practices, again, to provide assistance to employers to understand if you want to create the broadest pipeline uh, you need to ensure that your online presence, not only for attracting but screening employees, is as broad as possible. Excellent. So that's p basically what it does. The employers have these online, you make sure that their online applications are accessible and that there's e-recruiting tools there. Yes. Uh, you know, we did, uh, in anticipation for TalentWorks, we did a national survey of people with disabilities, and I was struck by some of the statistics. 56% uh, of uh, people with disabilities uh, find their jobs now using their mobile devices, yet when we asked them about their most recent experience trying to apply for a job, 46% of people with disabilities said their most recent uh, experience applying online was quote difficult to impossible so it's this one the internet provides this wonderful opportunity to us to attract all kinds of people but unless we make it accessible it's not available uh, to the people we're trying to attract so you've only been here a very short while but you've got to talk with some people last night after your keynote what's your perspective of the CSUN show this is really one of the most inspirational events I've had a chance to do during my time at the Department of Labor. Not only the chance to interact with disability advocates, policymakers, but really technology advocates, uh, technology innovators. You know, I was talking to some folks around here. I mean, as I look around here, it's like a who's who of Silicon Valley here. And it pleases me to know that so many companies are moving into the space. Excellent. We've been talking with Deputy Secretary Chris Liu here, keynote speaker at the CSUN. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you. It's a pleasure. We've got an active day today. We're going to let you get to it. I'm Dave Gardy here on the floor of CSUN 2016 from San Diego. Stay tuned for more.